Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we are in Bujirba doing more side questy hunty things. So this one... Ah, yes, you are the one we are looking for. Okay, so he posted this bill many years ago, even though we've just seen it recently. It wasn't available to us at the beginning of the game, so that already doesn't make sense. And he's talking about this Diablos evil thing. Uh, yeah, he's talking about when children are naughty, they're, they go see Diablos or something. He lives... He resides deep within the Lusu Mines, which again, how is little Miklio here actually getting to Diablos where they can see? The, the, so many things about this story just don't make sense. But you know what? That's okay. He, he has a problem. We'll solve it. We'll get serious. Well, we have serious hair. All right. So, uh, did I do anything else off-screen in between parts? I don't think I did. Uh, let's see. Make frequent flyer joke in the last part. Yep, I did that. Okay. Then. Uh... Oh, I also looked up who all has. This is the part where I officially learned who all has Remedy Lore three. And that is Vaughn, Fran, and Ash. I know I've mentioned that uh, before, but uh, yeah. So I have uh, warped us to the middle of the Lushu Mines. Let's go find this Diablos guy and give him a piece of my mind. But if you recall, there's another hunt here, too. Oh, yes. The Battle at the Bridge. <laughs> you know, I can appreciate the comic relief of Gilgamesh. Now we fight. I thought this was supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one battle, but I guess not. Uh, we have a remake of the Battle on the Bridge mu music uh, that Gilgamesh is also kind of famous for. It's kind of become his theme. And I do like this remake. We have Enkidu here to deal with as well, so let's deal with him first. Now, Gilgamesh, he was introduced to us in Final Fantasy V. Yeah, Enkidu's not going to take too much, so let's get rid of him first. And I like how this uh, remake of this theme kind of stays true to its roots and, and everything, but yet has a very upgraded and new feel to it. Oh, I really like this version of the song. I probably... I don't know if I like it better than the original. It's Usually when it comes to remaking uh, tunes like this, I 95% of the time I like the original better than the remake. This might actually be an exception. So, okay, uh, Gilgamesh, I'm okay, I, I like the throwback, first of all. What I, the one thing I've always disliked, though, about Gilgamesh is they make him out to be this... Fools, you face the mightier swordsman in all evil east. You face me, Gilgamesh! They make him out to be, like, this goofy Long character. The blade of legend. Have I the furthest Stop interrupting me with your blade of legend. my search brings me here. To you! New weapons are forfeit to me! Uh, no, we're not going to forfeit our weapons to you. Uh, so one thing I, I dislike about Gilgamesh is, you know, they treat him as comic relief, and in some of the Final Fantasies where they brought him back, they bring him back as, like, a super boss or hidden boss or optional, like, super powerful enemy. And... They still try to keep him, like, with the goofy comic reliefness. Like, like him falling off, like, his entrance here. Hmm, it was kind of funny. That's, that's Cloud Stripe's Buster Sword. You can't use that. 
Well, where has this guy been in his travels? But yeah, you can see he's well traveled. He is he's a super strong here and in other recent Final Fantasies where they've had Gilgamesh. And to me that just doesn't mesh well with the whole comic relief bits of him. Like we're supposed to take him super seriously because he's difficult and all this, but then he enters and falls off the bridge. I yeah, it's funny, but it's it's kind of hard to expect a serious battle from this or, or something that's too serious or challenging when you do things like that. And so that that's where my problem is. Hmm, I fought worse. Where is that sword from? It looks like it should be familiar, but I I'm drawing a blank on it. Past gameplay me was also drawing a blank on it. But uh, we seem to be doing pretty well here with uh, the team we have. So yeah, Fran, Bosch, Valthier. Also an interesting sword. Where's that one from? Perfect defense. Um, Paling. Immune to physical damage, that's dumb. I thought perfect defense was... Yeah, we're going to get rid of your other buffs. Gilgamesh, and he's immune to magic. This is just unnecessarily annoying and not good design at all. And I do have in my notes for this part that this is where I'm supposed to be ranting about these palings and magic immunities. Like, I thought we were having a fine battle up until he goes, Oh, I'm just going to be immune to uh, everything for a little while, for, for some set amount of time, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm going to attempt to do stuff about it, and nothing's going to uh, do anything. Yeah, that's... So I guess what you can do is just kind of focus on buffing and that. Now, I did look up, uh, I don't know, maybe I should save this. No, yeah, I can rant about it here, because at this point in the game, these palings, these... Oh, okay, he's no longer immune to physical and magic. I, I don't like that they become immune to physical and magic attacks for, for a set amount of time. I have I know I've said this before, Said it'd be okay to do it, you know, make it unique to, to one or two bosses, but not give it to, like, everything. And now, and and this whole, like, his stats just more than tripled. We're, we were hitting him for 1 to 2,000 per shot. Now we're hitting him for three to 400. That's ridiculous. We've dispelled all his... We've dispelled all his, uh things off of them. I guess uh, Bosch is still hitting them for 1,200. But still, this is just... This is where the design is really starting to bother me on this. Oh yeah, and also when the bosses are in that state, they also get a lot more combo hits, as you saw against Balthier there. Again, to me, this is it's just very poor design. And if I had to pick something that I, the thing I liked the least or, or hated the most about Final Fantasy XII, it would be those palings that the bosses get and the, the stat boost bosses get just because they're on 25% health. But we got Gilgamesh feet. Well, sort of. Well, it sounds like we're going to be uh, hearing that theme again sometime, maybe. Alright, so my... So I did do some research on, you know, what to do about these palings and stuff. And, you know, what I found out searching forums and, and help questions and all that? The response to uh, protecting yourself against the palings and the immunities is to 
kill the bosses quicker. Really? So the answer to an overpowered, poorly designed mechanic is to become even more overpowered? Like, you guys have been watching this. Do any of you think we have not been killing bosses quickly enough? And the, the, the solution for these palings is to kill bosses quicker? To me, that's, that is just poor design on, on so many levels. I would rather have a boss... I, I expect boss fights to at least drag out a few minutes. You know, the Gilgamesh fight, I thought it lasted a, a decent length of time. It, it was an appropriate length of time. Even with the whole physical magic immunity, which it didn't last too long on him. But uh, even if you took that away, I still think it would have been a, a good amount of time for a boss battle. Some of these bosses we have killed really quickly, like within two minutes. And now I'm being told that we're not killing them quickly enough? That that whole thing just does not jive with me. And that's got to be the thing I dislike about this game the most. Um, so how will that factor into my final review of the game, and where will that end up uh, placing this game at uh, on the on my ranking of Final Fantasy games? Well. For that, you'll have to wait until the, uh, well, at least the end of the main game. So now, well, let's keep looking for Diablo, so we're not going to chase after Gilgamesh anymore, I don't think. Diablos, okay, he's in there. He's not far from where we are now. And, yeah, I'm just going to run there. I don't think I have any... Yeah, I'm not uh, cutting to the next sequence yet. And, yeah, we're going to float our way through here, because you know what happens if we don't. Oh, I shouldn't say float. I should say float -guh. Because really, that's what it should be called, <laughs> given the naming of this, of the spells in this game. Oh, confuse! Why don't we have confuse ga? We have sleep ga. Toxify. That should really be called poison ga. Where's balance ga? Where's oil ga? <laughs> uh. I know, you think I'm taking it too far. I think this game has already taken that too far. So I'm just going to take it to even more ridiculous levels. What about Holy Ga? Or Flare Ga? Now that, that could be interesting. I think Flare Ga is really just scathe. Uh, well, there's Diablos in the distance there. Let's go... Uh... Here, but no, I want a magic attacker. Oh, well, it's Diablo, so I think he's gonna be weak to holy. Yeah, because he's an evil demon, and that would make sense. Uh, he also has haste on, so it would make sense to dispel that. And, well, Fran, you can do that because Ash is attacks on him will be stronger. Alright, so we got that. We're curing already? Curse. Um... Okay, that... That is really bad. Uh, fortunately, Redis is not affected by this. Let's see, do your remedies get rid of... Well, it does not matter. Oh, he is affected by this. Okay. So, curse inflicts confuse, disease, 
sap, poison, some other crap. Silence, it looks like. Honestly, I think Redis is better off staying dead. Okay. Um, well, this is turning into really not good. Diablos is using Curse again. Okay, we gotta... We gotta do something about this. Because we can't... With our guys just getting confused all the time, we're just gonna end up dying. Alright, not to mention the disease on top of it is really not helping matters. Um... Oh, Thera, you need to... We need to... We need to go. You know what? We just need to go. We need to retreat and regroup. No, no, that is not... Well, I guess Penella was still here. Uh, I can't put the others away. Uh, Penella, get us out of here. Bosh, please do not tell me you're attacking me. Yeah, go ahead. Step on a trap and die. Now, Bosh, we kind of left him. kind of left Diablo. St uh, Diablos is following us still. Oh, this is even worse. Uh, I need to just, like, go back and regroup. Okay, well, that at least stopped the poison. Uh, his confusion stopped. Oh, good, we're reviving people. That's... Yay, 1 HP. Okay. Well, we'll just make sure everyone's revived. Alright, um... And we still have one more that's dead. Uh, we got to start getting diseases off of people. I think I'm going to try and get back to a save crystal. But I can't do it with everyone at 1 HP and diseased. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, also for the sake of saving some of my remedies, we're going to... Uh, We're going to not heal up everyone, just the ones that are my uh, traveling party. So, like, Bosh, Balthier, and Fran. Or maybe not Fran. Or everyone. We can cure everyone, except Redos. I don't care if he dies. Well, I kind of do, because then my raise gambits will start kicking in, and we'll just keep reviving him at 1 HP. So I guess we can't have that either. I mean, at this point, I'm not too worried about, like, the cost of remedies or anything. Let's cast Arise. Redis, I can't change. Okay, so I have to come up with a strategy here. And I think I've got a good one. Where's my where's my cut to where we're gonna show this? Alright. So we're back. Here's the strategy. We're going to use this uh, accessory called Bowline Sash that makes us immune to confusion. And I'm also going to have two of our party members that uh, I'm actually going to use Bosch. Uh, Bosch doesn't have Remedy Lore 3, but Ash and Vaughn do. And so I've got them outfitted with the gambits for remedies. So if uh, status is disease, I want them using remedy. If it's not disease, I don't really care about remedy. Uh, so yeah, this is my answer to that curse technique. Because really, it's the confusion that's that makes it 
more dangerous because then everyone's confused and I can't control them. So I need to be immune to that. And then uh, we can just remedy away the disease with the people that have Remedy Lore 3. Redis, I can't change his equipment, so it's going to suck having him. Wasn't the fourth person supposed to be benefiting me in these hunts? <laughs> this is like the second time he's not. Uh, anyways, I also found out off screen that uh, Diablos here is actually weak to water. So I've got the Iga Blade equipped on Vaughn. Yeah, look at that. And I have uh, Bosch's. I think I have his water katana on. He's using Curse, so we have all this evil stuff, but uh, our remedy guys are going to fix that while Bosch continues the attack. Uh, Ash Cure, please. Okay, this works. This is much more manageable. And this is the type of strategy that I like in this game, you know? At first time we ran into Diabolos, he trashed us with this curse and he was smacking us we were confused and all these other things. And I developed a counter strategy, you know? You can't... well, I don't have ribbons yet, so I can't make myself immune to everything he's trying to do. Pyromania, I hate this uh, technique. Can I do anything about this? Yeah, Bosh, get rid of Asuna, because I don't want you casting Asuna when everyone else is using Remedy. I don't want everybody dying, either. But apparently I don't get what I want. But now that I've figured out how to deal with his curse, Scourge, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Ash, please cure us before you die. Yeah, they, they are killing us. Well, at least I moved Vaughn forward enough so that uh, Ash didn't get caught in that scourge as well. Now, let's use some Phoenix. Seriously! Okay, and this is more design I don't like. Okay, he's got haste on him again. You can see his HP is low enough where his super stat boost and super combo mode is kicking in. And that just makes him too fast to reliably beat. Oh, he's using Curse. I haven't even revived everyone. I don't care if Redis is revived or not. Okay, Haste is off of him. So we should be okay, maybe? Bosh, can you start hitting... Okay, someone needs to kill Diablos now. I'm done with him. I've had enough of him. You know what? This is going to be the last hunt we're going to do for a while, because if I'm having this much difficulty, I don't want to try the others that we have right now. Yeah, that, that's the other thing that I really dislike about this. Like, like okay, the part of this battle I liked was, was coming up with the strategy to get around the curse. But getting around super speed and multiple chain combos, not much I can do other than level up more. And, or just, you know, kill him faster. Uh, that's, that part is not fun. That's, that makes me not want to do hunts. I know I promised a long time ago that we're going to attempt, well, this is why post commentary me said attempt the hunts and not uh, necessarily complete them. Force Barrier, that sounds like a wonderful thing that I would like right now as he's continuously stabbing everyone. Oh great, a Paling. Of course it's a Paling. He's immune to physical damage. Guess what, my whole strategy has been using physical attacks on this guy. Because he's weak to water. And we have water weapons. Look at he's got such a small sliver of health and now he's immune just keep everybody back. I mean, I can't run too far away, because then he'll just heal himself or whatever. Bosh died, of course he did. Because we can't get any sort of healing off while he's doing massive combos very, very quickly. Oh, he's going to use Curse again. Okay, well, at least we, uh... 
survived first bosh cure yourself and of course by the time we get uh two shots and he's killed ash he gets two shots before anyone even gets like half anyone else gets even half an action and he's immune to physical if he was not immune to physical attacks he'd be dead right now and i would still be kind of okay with the way this battle turned out but while he's this i mean i could switch to pinello but everyone's dying so quickly that pinello's not going to get a spell off before dying Plus, I'd have to move the uh, confusion immunity accessory over. I just need everybody alive for at least half a minute. So, it... Come on, Fawn. Really? Oh, well, these two are just about to die before they get their healing off. Even though he just had an action, we have not had an action since. Yep. And before I can even select a new party leader, he's got Ash half dead who just used Kiraja. Like this, this is getting to the point where it really doesn't matter. I'm using Phoenix Downs to revive because they're more instant than uh, than Rays. But this, this is just ridiculous. This sort of thing should not be happening because he wasn't able to do quite this much insanity at the start of this battle. Again, that comes from the whole double stat thing because he's low on health. And he still has that immunity up. This is just such poor design. Good design would be like how I came or uh, the plan I had against the curse technique. That's the sort of design I like. Okay, he, he did the curse thing and I, I had to retreat and regroup and come up with a way to get around it. But this, this is just, this is not fun. Coming up with the strategy to beat Exodus, you know, at a level probably much lower than we were supposed to beat him at, that was fun. I didn't, I didn't even think that was doable, but I, I had fun coming up with that convoluted strategy. I came up with uh, somewhat of a convoluted strategy dealing with the curse thing, you know, the accessories to make yourself some unique confusion, use multiple Remedy Laura 3 characters, set up gambits for them. But this, this what's going on right here, this, this is not fun. This is not enjoyable. This is what makes me not want to do these things. Okay, maybe Pinello, maybe you can finish him off. Maybe? I don't even care if everyone else isn't getting license points for this. That, that's not my concern right now. Let's, let's try killing him. Both here, you have... I mean, maybe I should have summoned an Esper. I don't know. Oh, he's still got quite a sliver of health there. So I don't think uh, just casting one spell on him is going to do it. Yeah, if we get like one or two Phoenix Downs off and then he's got us, uh, he's got two people dead in that time. Oh, sure. Why not? Yeah, at this point, I think we're all dead. Are we all dead? No, because I revived. I revived a couple people. Um, yeah, Kiraja. Let's see if this goes off before we can... Uh... Oh, that's Kiraga. So let's see if that goes off before anyone dies. Nope. Nope. Yeah, we're 
we're just we're just gonna give up on this and you know i'll meet you guys next time where we're going to continue the plot that's that's all we're gonna do that's that was the mood past gameplay me was in at this point let's just let's just go finish the plot for now yeah there's your game over screen i'll see you guys next time